you were ever wondering whether the Nissan Versa is an excellent automobile, it's a gigantic piece of shit. Well, I only can imagine that people make these cars strictly to be sold to rental car companies. Another meathead mobility with uh, the amazing Katie Hogan here at CSA still while I'm uh, out in California. She's got some tricks for us to uh, help work on the hips and uh, see what she's got. Um, so I sometimes get uh, tightness or pain in like upper hamstring and uh, I found that the issue for me is actually inner thigh. Um, so the more I stretch the hamstring and glute, it really didn't do anything for that. Um, and as soon as I addressed my tight adductors, that pain in the back really just like completely went away. Um, so what I do is I take a foam roller, ideally a, a harder surface or a, one of the rumble rollers that has a little bit of texture to it. And what I do is I'll put it kind of uh, perpendicular to my own thigh. So I'll lay down so that I'm basically uh, like a T-shape from the actual roller. I'll stay on one spot and kind of do some bending and extending of the leg. And it's just excruciating. Um, I'll then sometimes leave it bent and rotate up and down here. Again, just staying on one spot. What I don't want to do is kind of like the rolling pin effect that a lot of people do with a foam roller. That's not really going to target my issue. So I stay on one spot of that inner thigh, hit it enough times, bending, extending, kind of rotating, and then I'll move the foam roller to a new spot, up or down, depending, and do the same kind of pattern there, making sure I really just smash that all apart. And uh, I'll stay on this sometimes for about five minutes on just one leg. This is how bad mine get. Uh, but ultimately, once I can free up some of that, my squat's better, I drive my knees out better, and most importantly, is that pain in the back of my hamstring is gone. That's my trick. Awesome. Check it out, and uh, you say you recommend that pre-workout? I do it before, definitely, and I do it a lot of my, uh, as after breast day. I'll come in, move around a little once my body's warmed up, then I'll do it, it's um, the days that I don't train, then it gets really bad. So don't forget to do something on those days. Just like anything else, stay consistent, do it five or six days a week, get the work in, you'll make better progress.